In this question, we are told that an object placed 10 centimeters in front of a convex lens of focal length 20 centimeters. Okay, focal length f is 20 centimeters. Um, object is placed 10 centimeters. So u is 10 centimeters. So we are to find where the image is going to be formed. Now, from the question, we can get our u to be 10 centimeters and f to be 20 centimeters. Now, we are looking for the position of v. Normally, if you really, really understand the properties of um, convex lens, how images are formed, you can answer this question on the go. If I want to show this, I will say, let me have my convex lens. Okay. And then since I understand the properties of um, how to get my image from my object that is placed in front of a lens, I can say that, okay, I have the center of curvature. Principal axis is the straight line drawn. Center of curvature is the middle of the lens. And then I'm also recipro reciprocating the principal axis on the other side of the lens. So if I have the focal length, yeah, I'm going to have F1 at the other side. Now the object is placed 10 centimeters. Since F is 20, 10 will be in between F and the center of curvature. Now rays passing through the image, when it gets to the lens, it will go and pass through the focal point on the other side, as shown. Okay? And then another ray will pass through the center of curvature. Center of curvature is the middle of the lens, just as shown also. Now, the two rays will notice that they are divergent. They are just expanding away from one another. So, in that case, we need to reverse to the other direction from where they are coming. So, just as shown, I will reverse back okay and then also reverse back from the center of curvature and then the point of intersection will be the point where the image of that object will be shown okay so and now i can just show that from the diagram so this is going to be the image okay now from 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 this since i i just use the rules of construction of my um, rays of light passing through an object, that's just as shown. And because they are divergent, I needed to reverse them. So now I can see that for an object that is placed between the focal point and the center of curvature, I'm going to have an image that is formed at the focal point. And that focal point, you can see, it was given as 20 centimeter. So the image is formed at the focal point the focal point for this particular question was given as 20 centimeters. And then, of course, it is it is virtual. It is erect. It is magnified. So it is 20 centimeters, but now it is to the left of the lens. And with that, I can just pick my correct option to be option B. But um, if you don't really, really have a good grasp of this, the other way to go about it is to use the lens formula. And now, what is the lens formula saying? The lens formula is saying that 1 over F is equal to 1 over v plus 1 over u, where v is the image distance. u was the object distance that we were given as 10 centimeter. f is a focal length that we were given as 20 centimeter. So if you are to plug in this value, you can just say that means 1 over 20 is equal to 1 over v plus 1 over 10. u is 1 over 10. So if you move 1 over 10 to the other side, 1 over v will be 1 over 20 minus 1 over 10. Finding LCM 20, 20 in 21, 1 times 1, 1 minus 10 in 20 is 2, 2 times 1 is 2. So I have 1 over V to be minus 1 over 20, meaning that V is minus 20. You can see we are also getting the same thing. It's now minus 20 centimeters minus because it is to the left side of the lens. It's being reflected back. It is virtual. So the correct option is option B. So that's all we are going to be having in our lecture today. We hope that this will be of benefit, of use to somebody out there. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of resources that you can use to enhance your academic excellence. And that's our desire, that you go out and be the best. And as you do all this, we know that all will work out together for good. Until next time, God bless you.